guys, it's Hexer18 and welcome back. This is another Backtrack 5 tutorial and I'm going to show you how to set up your Nessus uh, program that's in Backtrack 5. It's a one of the greatest uh, vulnerability scanners that you could ever use next to OpenVAS. So I'll show you OpenVAS in another video but this one I'm going to show you how to set up Nessus. So what you want to do is go ahead and log into your Backtrack 5 which I already have up in my VMware and I'm going to go to Applications, Backtrack, Vulnerability Assessment, Network Assessment, Vulnerability Scanners, Nessus, Nessus Register. And then you follow the website about how you're going to obtain your uh, activation code. And you, you choose whether you're going to use it at work or at home. In this tutorial, I'm going to use home. That's where I'm at now. Um, just scroll to the very bottom and click Agree. and then it's going to tell me to fill out my information here I'm going to go ahead and pause it and uh, I'll come back when I have the serial key so we can continue this be right back welcome back guys and now I got my my uh, serial key here as you can see so we're ready to register here what you want to do is you want to open the terminal here and we want to type in slash opt slash nessus slash bin slash nessus dash fetch I think that's how you say it F-E-T-C-H space dash dash register register and then the code paste it in there press enter and we wait for it to do its thing. Okay, it said your code has been registered pro properly. Thank you. Now fetching the newest plugins. So now it's going to update, and we just we're going to wait for this. So um, I'm going to pause it and then let you guys come back. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. And now it's completely updated. Now it's up to date, and uh, we're ready to continue here. So I'm going to go ahead and close the terminal and I'm going to go to Applications, Backtrack, Vulnerability Assessment, Network Assessment, Vulnerability Scanners, Nessus, and then we're going to say User Add. So now for your login, we're going to have to create a login here. I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to say uh, Hexer18, hopefully this works, and then press Enter. Login password. I'm gonna put a password. Whoops, I mistyped. There we are. Do you want to make this user an admin so you can say yes or no? I'm gonna say yes. And then it told me, you know, we added the rules system for the restrictions for you know that user, and you can test it out. Uh, you know you can enter the rule or rules or sets that you want I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna press enter and it says are you sure you want to do this is it okay yes and then now we're done so I'm gonna exit the terminal there go back in here applications backtrack vulnerability assessment network assessment vulnerability scanners Nessus and then start now it's started so I can close this terminal or keep it up I'm gonna keep it up and just in case I want to work with it again go to internet browser and now you want to alright here we are and I just say I understand the risk and then I add the exception to my browser if you're using Firefox and that loads up might take a while I'm just gonna yeah okay um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it and we'll come back here okay okay guys welcome back and uh, now we got this thing loaded it took a long time here to load for me so I apologize uh, that's why I paused during the videos but anyways, once you have it fully loaded, you'll have the loading bar go for a while. And then you'll be prompted with your username and password. And it has HTTPS, you know, that's great. It has SSL, so 
we're all good here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and log in with the credentials that I made earlier for the account that we set up and going from there. All right. Now it says it welcomes me with a home feed and I just press OK and here it is. I mean, I'm ready to start scanning now. Uh, I mean, I'm going to go probably in more depth with Nessus later on or um, do a basic scan for a video, but not right now. This is just to help you guys get it set up on Backtrack 5 so you can follow me with, you know, future Nessus tutorials. Um, you, know, you can upload, you can see policies, you can set up reports, your own stuff set up user accounts so you can have your own Nessus server running on your home server if you really wanted to uh, it's really cool uh, so this should install the same way as Ubuntu since considering Backtrack 5 is based on Ubuntu so um, if you have any problems with installing Nessus on any other operating system go to their website check out you know their stuff there there should be more details on how to install it for those Pacific operating systems, but this is just for Backtrack 5. So go ahead, give me your comments, you know, rate, subscribe, let me know what you guys think on um, setting up the Nessus. I apologize if the video is really long. I'm trying to make it short as possible. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. See ya.